He changes everything. The Lord changes everything. Amen.
and you get that done as well. So thank you for that reminder. I, I, I want to I want to begin the message of the morning by reciting two um, two particular verses of scripture. Both are found in the New Testament. And both really speak to something that I think every one of us in this room long for. We desire to have. We, we, we seek for. And in fact, not only is it something we long for, but it is something that I've come to discover God has willed for our lives. Not only has he willed it, but he has provided for it and purchased it through his son. But the sad truth is, far too many of us, and for a long time in my own life, fail to really live in this wonderful gift, say gift, this yep. wonderful gift that's been given to us in Christ. The first passage is found in Galatians chapter 5. What's up, buddy? Sorry, Sorry I got kicked. Screen momentarily. Hold on, let me hear. From there, Shaking. we're going to turn to, uh, to John's Gospel chapter number 8. Both passages, uh, I think, are familiar to many of us. I, I would probably think the second passage is far more familiar. We'll see it in just a moment, but I want to read through this. It kind of it kind of sets the stage for some thoughts that I believe the Lord wants to communicate to 